Should I start? Are you a Buddhist monk? Yes, I am. <laughs> In which Buddhist tradition are you practicing? Well, I am practicing the Buddhist tradition from Vietnam, which is Mahayana. Mahayana? Yes. From yeah. Vietnam. Yeah. What is your currently schedules practice look like? <laughs> well, we practice twice per day, six 30 in the morning and 6 30 in the afternoon from Monday to Friday at 9 o'clock on Saturday morning. And that's it? Yeah. You don't sit during the and day? And the temple will be closed uh, at the weekend. The temple closed on the weekend. Yeah. Okay. What are you going to do after you finish your English classes at CGCC? I'm going to uh, to get my master's degree in Buddhist study. From where? Uh, from some any university. In the States, I don't know. Uh huh. Naropa? Maybe. Yeah. This could be. <laughs> well, why do you want to get your master's degree in Buddhist studies? Because I wish I could be able to teach Buddhism uh, in a English better and also can improve my uh, language skill. So you want to be able to teach Buddhism in English? Yeah. Why did you choose to become a Buddhist monk? Um, because personally, um, I found many benefits since I know and I practice Buddhism. And I have some of my friends, like, they feel more peaceful uh, while they are practicing Buddhism. So I want to serve it to anyone. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Why do you think, what do you think about the future of Buddhism in the West? Well, I think more and more Westerners curiosity to engage Buddhism by meditation practice because of its uh, practical benefits to everyone. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So is it good enough to just practice meditation for Westerners? Well, most of the Westerners, they want to practice meditation, but meditation is just only one of many, many uh, practicing method in Buddhism. Mm -hmm. For Westerners, I think they would love to know to do practice meditation much more than all those mentors. Mm -hmm. So they want to do meditation more than the other stuff that yeah. you have to do as a monk. <laughs> okay. What would challenge you while spreading Buddhism in a society of variety culture? Well, a society with varieties of culture and language, of course, challenges me a lot. And, and, and I'm thinking about how to adopt it and how to change it from inside be able to do so. Mm -hmm. Okay. What is the Buddhist's view on the phenomena of same-sex marriage today? Well, Buddhism has no distinction, no discrimination on this issue. And as a monk, I'm very glad that someone can find peace on their choice. Hmm. What would you do if you win a lottery ticket of $1 billion? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I would like to donate it to some charity organization, an NGO, non-governmental organization, to do some researches for poor. Okay. And to get more benefits for our community. Okay. So I should start a, my own organization and you'll give it to me? Sure. <laughs> if you are an NGO. <laughs> okay. Okay. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you. You have a great day. Bye -bye. You too. Bye-bye. <laughs>